Good day. Today we are going to focus on the calculations of the cost of sales. So, in a perpetual inventory system, the cost of sales they are calculated at the point of sale, meaning that whenever the business is uh, selling the goods, at the exact same time, uh, the cost of sales they are calculated. Okay, at the exact same time the cost of sales they are calculated. And then for the periodic inventory system, cost of sales is calculated at the end of the financial year as indicated below. Now, first one, calculation for the cost of sales using the inventory system. So for the perpetual inventory system, when we want to find the cost of sales, we use the markup okay for the perpetual inventory system when we want to find the cost of sales we use the markup so assume your sales were 500,000 um, and then the markup is 60 percent so what you need to do is you need to say cost price plus markup is equal to selling price so right now the markup is 60 percent and then the cost price is always a hundred. So that is going to give you 160 because cost price plus markup is a quarter selling price. Then you have 500,000 multiplied by. So below you put what you have. So what we have is the sales and the sales uh, percentage it is 160. And then what we don't have is a hundred percent. So that is going to give you uh, 320,000 500. Let me confirm. 500,000 multiplied by 100 divided by 160. 312, 500. Now, when we are calculating the cost of sales using the periodic inventory system, what we do is we say opening stock, so the, the opening balance of the trading stock. The balance at the beginning of the year and then we say plus the purchases so the purchases the trading stock that the business has bought okay the, the purchases the trading stock that the business has bought so but then when we add the purchases here um before we add them what you need to do is we need to take the purchases that we have. Okay, so actually, when we are adding here, when we are adding the purchases here, we are adding the net purchases. Okay, we are adding the net purchases when we are adding the purchases. So the net purchases it is um, equal to, so these are net purchases. Is equal to purchases plus, I mean minus stock um, return. So these are the purchases returned, stock returned, and then minus donated stock. minus um drawings so if we, if there was a um if there was a, a trading stock uh withdrew by the owner and then you're going to get the net purchases okay so this is what you add here the net purchases okay the net purchases and then add carriages on the purchases you add the import duties and then less closing stock now what you need what you need to do is the carriage on sales carriage on sales will, will not affect the calculations of your trading stock or the calculations of your cost of sales the carriage on sales they will only affect the um Profits and loss account and the operating expenses in the income statement. Okay.
and then you see less a uh, closing stop like that the, the trading stop at the end of the year and then you are going to get your cost of sales now let's do it let's do it let's do it so obviously we know that sales minus cost of sales is equal to cross profits okay now stock on one march 2020 um it's uh, 60,000. So this is the opening stock, the beginning of the year. So we know that when we are calculating the cost of sales, cost of sales, we say opening stock, right? Which is 60,000. Um, plus the purchases. So plus the carriages. So this means that here we don't have the stock um, returned. Plus the custom duties. And then we say less a uh, stock on less the closing stock. So which is the stock at the end of the year, the balance at the end, which is going to give you 60,000. Plus four hundred and fifty thousand plus twenty thousand plus five thousand minus thirty five thousand. So this means that the cost of sales is eight hundred and twelve thousand five hundred. Eight hundred and five and twelve thousand five hundred. So that is your cost of sales.